so uh, we have to assign output binary functions for these uh, uh, variables okay so uh, i'm i will be assuming some conditions for these uh, uh, output variables so that our robot for uh, for going straight left and right uh, for the robot okay so let's say uh, if the uh, let's say this is m1 okay m2 m3 m4 okay so the uh, m1 m2 are one one motor uh, this is the second motor okay so if i give something like 1 0 0 1 so i will take it as forward that is in the hardware i will be connected it like this so that if this value is given to the motors the robot will go forward and if 1 0 1 0 is given it will go to the right and if 0 1 0 1 is given it will go to the left we'll see that in detail or here itself so uh, checking this condition okay so this condition comes when let's say this is the line and this is the robot and this is your s1 s2 s3 right s1 s2 s3 right so when does this 0 0 0 come in when all the three sensors are not in the line right so when all the three sensors are not in the line so i will tell the bot to uh, robot to search for the line so uh, we'll just give a normal uh, condition of a turn so that the robot will be turning and uh, searching for the line so i'll just arbitrarily give it as right condition okay so i will take 1010 as right that is robot will be going right okay so let's say the uh, so now coming to the next condition 0 0 1 so this is the condition where we have a line to the right side that is s3 is on the black uh, black uh, white s3 is giving uh, the sensor s3 is giving us a value of 1 which is truth value which means that s3 sensor has sensed a black line okay so uh, so the line is like something like this now on uh, so that s3 sensor is on the line so what should we do now the robot should take a right turn right so again giving a right turn to the motors one zero one zero okay now giving coming to the third condition one zero one forward condition because the line is in the center part of the robot so that robot should go straight in a straight manner right so for the straight condition i have assumed this this binary value that is one zero zero one okay so this is for forward forward right okay and now coming to the fourth one zero one one so uh, here we can see that s2 and s3 both are in uh, black line uh, right condition again so i'll just give a right condition again this is one zero one zero right okay and now coming to the fifth one uh, this is one zero zero right so the, which means that the sensor s1 is on the black line so it, the robot should actually take a left turn right as you can see here so i will be writing the left condition for the motor outputs here the left condition is i have assumed this as zero one zero one this is left okay and now uh, coming to the sixth one this is uh, one zero one so it's like uh, this condition is very rare to come in a line for a robot program but i'm gonna just uh, give you an uh, idea that uh, we don't have a line in the center but we have two lines uh, on either of the sides so i just uh, arbitrarily choose to go to right even if we have two uh, you know turns okay so what i'll do is i'll just give a right turn one zero one zero so if we have two uh, uh, you know bra uh, branches of a single line we'll just go right and then this is 110 okay 110 is like we have uh, s1 and s2 on the black line so the robot has to go left so again the left condition is 0101 l and we have 111 so this means that all the three sensors are on the black line so i will choose to go straight okay you you can choose it to be uh, to go to left or right or that depends on the conditions your robot um, uh, is in or the kind of line track that you will be getting okay so i'll just uh, make it go straight one zero zero one forward okay so there you go you have uh, successfully you know learned how to write uh, output uh, binary uh, you know uh, values for a set of input variables uh, okay so this is how you're gonna design your 
robot using the logical you know operands and uh, the method of logics okay so so that you will be able to implement it in your logical gates as an hard as as a hardware part okay so let's now uh, rub this off and continue with the next part i'll show you how to implement this and this and uh, uh, how to get the inputs from the sensors etc and how to actually implement it in logic gates as an hardware uh, in the next part okay so i'll see you then